Hi everyone, me again from Iron Horse Motorcycle Lodge in Dakota, North Carolina. Thought you might like to take a look at the colors up on the mountain there. You know it's hard to see in the camera, there's a little house way up the top. The people that originally built this resort, that's their home. And they sold the resort, but they still kept that. Nice place, I think. But what do you think of the colors? Pretty nice, huh? We're getting ready to ride up and go get some gas and get on our ride today. So I thought I would show you what it looks like here. There's our campsite. We're all set up, ready to go. And Susan's ready, so I'm ready. All right, let's load her up. Go! Ah. All right, she started up. That's always a good sign, all right? Okay. It's a beautiful day. It's a little cool. Got down to 35 last night up here. High is going to be like 61, maybe. But uh, we've got gear, so we're warm enough. Everybody else has already ridden out today. But uh, we think that was sort of a rookie mistake because uh, the clouds were right down halfway down that mountain I just showed you at the very beginning. And uh, when they're that low, that means you're riding through mist and cold, wet, clammy rain all the way to up over the mountain. So we wait till it clears off a little bit. Of course, we're going to be here for eight days, so we don't have to get it all done today. Forecast for one day of thunderstorms the rest of the time. Temperature is just like it is now. Uh, lows in the 40s at night, highs in the 60s during the day. So uh, perfect weather for my lovely bride up there. She loves it when it's cooler. Uh, and, uh, me, I like it. I prefer hot weather. Nothing I like better than riding in a t-shirt. But there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Might have another one of those coming here in a minute. Anyway, I just thought I'd uh, show you the ride out kind of in the shade right here, but we'll get in the sun here in a minute. We'll go up and show you that valley I like so much, uh, which is a little valley right out front of this place. I'm looking forward to getting up here all uh, for quite a few months now. Uh, this is uh, my birthday week, and then uh, we come up and we celebrate her birthday week in August and mine in October. And many, many times I've wished I was born in a warm, uh, warmer month, but you know, you never know. In North Carolina, it could be 90 degrees today in October. You just never know what you're going to get. So, you see some of the red. We didn't see very many reds coming in until we got actually into the Nantahala Gorge. And now the reds are coming out uh, in the leaves. Uh, so, you get a chance to see. The mountain up there has changed. It's got some, a good bit more changing to do. It's just starting right over in there. <coughs> Excuse me again. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's getting there. Probably by the time we leave, it'll be uh, be right at the peak. So if you have a moment and you're in North Carolina or you can get anywhere near North Carolina Mountains, come on up. Looks like the leaves are doing fine today. guy's been building something up here on the hill. We don't know what it is yet, but he's been moving a lot of dirt. There's a... Okay, what's going on here? Alrighty. Might get a little bit of a view up here. Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That old farm buildings right here. This guy's this is still an operating farm. I see cows on it from time to time. That's the guy from the uh, uh, resort right there. That's their old resort truck, old rusted out truck. I've been coming up here for years. I've never seen it move, and he just started it this morning, and drove it up here to the store. So apparently, it's been moving all along. I just never was there when they actually fired it up. But. Uh, it's cool. What do you think about the Riker here? I took the windshield off. I've just got a little wind deflector on the front. And I'll show you what I did here later on. But uh, I like I like the, uh, believe it or not, I did it for the camera view. I like the camera view much better this way than I do through the windshield. Let's 
see what you think. Be interesting in your comments about what views you prefer. I've experimented with a lot of different camera views. I still think the chin mount is a good one, but I do like to mount it on this post here on the for the you know to put the camera up and a real for a steady view for going. This makes it easier to see uh, the the roadside go by, what are you going to call it, the, the, the colors of the leaves and all that, because I tend to jerk my head all over the place like this when I'm talking. So, uh, you know, nobody needs that. Okay, we're going to get up here and get us some gas. One year they didn't have any. Hopefully this time we're going to be okay. Alrighty, well I'll knock off for now. Talk to you later. Bye.